Hey everyone, Zach here from Lafix. Got another video for you guys today. Today we have the Seagate hard drive. We actually got in. It's from Mailin. It's from out of state. And we're going to be taking a look at it today. So we want to see really what's going on. And we got it in because obviously the customer needs their data off. So let's actually just get right into it. Let's see if I, I have my sled over here. Let's just plug it in and see what we get here. Uh, the idea for this, this wasn't actually powering on. So I want to confirm that right first, see if there's anything. It came in like this as a drive. If it's ever in an enclosure, just kind of leave it in the enclosure, especially for any type of data recovery. You don't want to be messing with anything because it's very easy maybe to possibly break something. Or obviously if there is like a piece of B on the back there, you could damage it. You don't want to scratch it or do anything else. We don't really know, right? You just want to just leave it. So it's the best chance for the recovery, especially if the data is really important, which we assume that all the time. So this sled, if I can get the plug in, there we go. Let's turn it on. So we have our light there. It did pop up. I heard a noise. Uh, let's see. Check my file explorer. I don't really see anything there. Yeah, I don't see anything really there. On well, disk isn't spinning at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's take a look. Because we see the symptoms are disk isn't spinning up. So the disk isn't spinning up, there's usually a problem here, right? That's the whole entire point of it. So we need to open this up. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we see anything obvious. Uh, we can measure for shorts or something else going on. All right, let's just lift it up. And aha, what do we see here? It's a big old burn. See that? Looks like it's completely melted. There's a hole through it. That's our main problem there. So if this was like a newer drive, probably more like what's the drive, we probably would have more focus on uh, fixing the PCB here because there can be a, a harder level type of encryption. But for most of these ones, especially this is an older drive anyway, was this a 500 gig drive or 750 gig drive? So it's an odd number anyway, or like an odd, not like a <laughs> an actual odd number but it's an odd number, so a different type of number. So since it is like an odd type of number anyway, it's usually like 750 gig, you see that more um, on like older drives, you don't see them too much more anymore because they were hitting the peak right 500 gig, 750 and then one terabyte, a little bit more expensive back then. This one um, most likely doesn't have some type of, but anyways, it doesn't really matter too much because it's an older one, most likely it doesn't have some type of hardware level encryption uh, where there's like MCU encryption on it, right? So this one most likely, what well, we don't have to work on that chip. We want to work on an easier chip. And that's the one that's over here. Cause uh, that's really what's important here is uh, this area not being really impacted, even though it's really close to the, um, to the input output there is that we don't want this BIOS to be impacted or damaged. That's the most important thing. Cause that's going to tell the, the, the PCB here where the day is located and how to see the data, right? So, I just so happen to have another one over here that looks exactly the same and it's a very similar type board, right? So what we could do is we can mainly just do an extraction for that and then see if we can go ahead and open up the drive, see the data. We have one over here that has a very similar type BIOS and we need to pretty much swap over that chip. So let's go under the microscope. Um, we can swap over this one because we do have this PCB here that had the issue. And let's go ahead and see if it'll work if we just swap over the BIOS there, right? It's just work because we are eliminating the problem area over here. Who knows why that short happened or what happened over there, who knows? So we wanna just totally avoid it and we wanna go to this PCB and we're gonna go ahead and swap the BIOS. So let's go into the microscope real quick and um, we'll see if we can go ahead and just remove the chip and hopefully we can be able to access the data. Microscope, nice little hole there. Ooh, man, whatever caused that? It's like a definite overload there, but we don't really care, right? Because we want to just move over our piece there because it doesn't really matter too much anymore. I don't know if this is, see the legs aren't absolutely perfect on this one. I don't know if it's been shifted. It doesn't look to have been worked on, but it's not very factory look, looking, is it? Well, let's see if this one looks about the same. See this, you see how straight this one is? See all the legs, they seem absolutely perfect. They fit in there, right? So it's like shoes and socks or socks and sandals. Could be that too. That looks fine, but this one looks a little bit shifted. Looks like someone may have worked on this one before. 
and you can really tell more at the top here is that this area looks a little bit more shifted even the solder doesn't look perfect here so this this probably was worked on before and that's why we're getting a problem and that's probably why they're here in the first place and that's probably why it's mailed in from out of state right because probably went somewhere else and then one here so let's go ahead and remove this hopefully this is the original one for it because this is the brain right if it doesn't have a brain it doesn't matter if the body works so let's go ahead and swap this out but probably it's going to come really easy because yeah it looks already been touched up but that definitely that far right one definitely looks off or my far right one right oh yep yeah, so far right one definitely looks off this is in the factory for sure okay so let's remove it anyway Man, this has been done before. Shh, not the first one. You have no idea how much that thing saved me. Well, yep, that's what I'm saying. Yep, it's a vacuum <laughs> for a rug. You can see even the solar is very, very, very easy to remove here. So that's definitely uh, dropped it. There we go. You see that dot in the corner too? That's where it matters. That's where it goes. This one. Okay, so we need to swap this out. Now this one looks a little bit more factory. It's more dusty, right? But it looks way more factory than the other one. Okay, so we got our BIOS moved over. Let's go ahead and um, plug it in. Let's see, screw it back on. So let's plug it in. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Okay, so the disc is spinning up, which is good. A little bit of a noise there. And looks like we got a message, but it still isn't coming up there yet. And we don't want to risk this thing any further, but at least we did make some progress. So what we want to do is let's turn this off. And we don't want to really go through one of those uh, 
anymore anyway because we don't want to risk this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it over here so even after all of our hard work there we still need extra tools to help us uh, with this recovery so we're going to be pulling over to this tool here um, it's good that we can actually see the capacity to drive um, we see that there are some errors still that we still need to work out and iron out with some of the kinks but we're able to do that and we're able to actually image the drive here and now let's go ahead and see if we actually see the data it's still a little bit slow um, so that's why an image is always a really good thing to do but um, we can actually see the data here and everything looks pretty good Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing a data recovery for Seagate um, three and a half inch, 750 gigabyte drive. You can see it's still never straightforward. There's always a little bit of hurdles. You fix one of the problems, you do a PCB fix, and then you got something else going on. Then you do lots of other stuff, figure it out, right? Um, work with some other tools and uh, see what you can do, but we're able to get the data. So hope you guys enjoyed watching and enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.